hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video we will be watching how to integrate google sign in in your asp.net application so this video will be completed in two parts in the first part we will be watching how to create your uh, google sign in credential and api key how to get those and then in the second part we will be watching how to use that in your project so starting from the first part we will be just watching how to get our client secret and client key so for that we have to search google developer console in the browser and uh, you can see this link over here google developer console you have to go there and you can select any of your gmail account that you want to use so once you select your account now you will be watching this screen here you have to create a new project and, and this can be the name which is of your project or for which project you want to use this google sign in so for example we will be just watching test google sign in so this name is optional and just you have to give that name according to your project now we will be clicking on create so once your project is created you have to click on select project here and now your project is selected here you can see test google sign in now you have to click on enable api and services so here you have to search for google plus press enter and our api that we need is this one google plus domains api you have to select that here you will click on this enable button so once the api is enabled now you can complete the further process you have to click on credentials and create credential auth client id now it is saying you have to first configure the consent screen so we will click on that so here we are watching two options you have to select the external here so basically external means that any user with a google account can use this part so now we will click on create so again the app name is uh, app name is the name which will be visible to the user whenever they will try to sign in through your google login so it will be the name which will be present in front of them that this app is asking for your permissions so for example it can be we can say test app and you can select your own gmail id in user sport mail and app logo you can select uh, we will select uh, any random image for now i'm not sure i have any image so we will just leave it for now so here we have to provide some links for the home page and privacy policy link and service link so these links uh, must be from your uh, domain where you want to implement this google sign in we will click on save and continue so here we have to select at least one email address we will put that 
save and continue so on the second step you will see it is asking for scopes so we don't need to change anything in this part we will just simply click on save and continue again it is asking for adding some test users but we don't need to change anything here also we will click on save and continue so now this is all done and you can click on back to dashboard now we will go on the credentials again here we will click on create credential and auth client id so here we will select application type web application because we are creating a web application uh, you can put any name here like I said so no worries about any name so we will not change that one here now one of the most important part here is this authorized redirect URI now you have to remember that here will be the URL on which it will go after successful sign in okay so for example if you are done login and you want to get the user details somewhere then you have to put the URL where you want your uh, user detail to be okay so for now example we can say that uh, it will go on redirect Google login now this uh, URL will be used in the second part of the video so but uh, the best part is uh, it can be changed afterwards so you don't have to worry much about that but uh, you can also give your local host URL here like uh, we can say like this you can give any URL here okay but uh, unless you keep the same URL while you are using this in the code it will not work so this URL is important but uh, we can change it later so we don't worry much about that for now and we will just write any random URL for here and we will click on create so now you can see you have got your uh, client ID and client secret now you can copy both of these uh, somewhere in the notepad and uh, this one we will be using in our second part of the video so this is how you can create your google api client secret and client key and this will be used later in the code part so um, thanks for watching and if you have any issues about the steps then you can comment on the video uh, thanks a lot yeah.